Hello everyone and welcome to a new series, Pentiment. Ah, oh, okay. I've been waiting for this game to come out for, uh, ever since they announced it. Like, what, like four or five months ago? This is a new game by Obsidian. It is a, um... I don't really know what it is. I've heard people say it's a... It's an RPG. I've heard others say it's not an RPG. It's more just like a... A story, narrative... Sort of game. Um, either way, I want to play it. So we're going to play it. Uh, oh, my name's Heliax. In case you're you're new to the channel. Um, we primarily do... RPGs. In fact, that's all we've done so far. Is RPGs. Uh, we've got quite a few obsidian games already on the channel and by quite a few i mean three we've got outer worlds pillars of eternity one and i'm currently working my way through pillars of eternity two um big fan of obsidian they are a very good company in my opinion so i'm excited to see what they've got going on here this game just released and uh set my alarm i woke up a couple hours early before work so i get to play a little bit uh, before we start, or before I go to work. Um, I'm really happy the music here is so nice. I like it. Uh, but this is also set in a historical historical uh, Europe setting. Um, and from what I've seen, the art design is really, really neat. So I'm excited to jump into it. Um, this game is... Ooh. You can already kind of see the, the art design here. It's nice. Uh, let's just make sure everything is... Is set and ready to go. Looks like it is. Okay. Um, oh, and just a preface: if if you're worried about the um, consistency of the other series, everything should be okay. Um, everything should be coming out as it has been. So every other day will be Pillars of Eternity Two. Every morning will be Pathfinder: Wrath of the Righteous. And then this game's going to come out hopefully every day as well. Now, it's not too long of a game. I heard it's between 15 and 20 hours. So for me, it'll probably be 25 hours-ish. Um, so it's not too long of a game. And hopefully it's it's as good as I hope it will be. <laughs> hopefully it'll be as good as I hope it will be. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in the game. And thank you all for joining me. And I hope you have a good time. New game. Easy Read Fonts. This game uses stylized fonts and writing effects that may be difficult for some readers. The Easy Read Font option improves legibility by disabling some fonts and some writing effects. Um, We're going to keep the fonts. Hopefully I'll be able to read them all. And uh, if you guys have trouble reading it, hopefully you'll be able to listen to me read them. Stylized fonts, autosave feature. Pentiment automatically saves game progress as you play the game. Got it. Alright, did we make our character? Do we have... Is there a character creation? Oh. What is this? Oh, it's like... A, okay. In the Principio... Uh... <laughs> Wait, what is this do? <laughs> what is that word? Crat? Verbum et... Oh, this is, um... Latin. Okay, that's why I can't read it. So, if you can read... Latin. Uh, here you go. There's humiliate. Somebody got humiliated. Uh, Monaco. Is that a monarch? I don't know. Controversy. Protest. Uh, speculum. Speculate, maybe? Something's going on here. Manifestum. Okay. Can we translate it, please? <laughs> Presto. Oh, we're racing it. Oh, that's interesting. What we... Um, is this is how people were erased back in the day. Also, as a, just a, like a little um side note, I am a uh, a history history dude. I do love my history. Uh, I actually teach history. There we go. So I'm really curious to see what we've got going on here. 
Xbox Game Studios presents an Obsidian Entertainment production. Pentiment. Art director, Hannah Kennedy. Animation director, Kathy Nichols. Or Kathy Nichols. Programming director, Brett Booster. Oh, look at the, the rabbits and the dog. Uh, audio by Kat Winsk. Music by uh, Alchemy. Oh, I missed that one down there. Uh, producer, Alec Frey. Area design, Matthew Loyola. Loyola? Loyola. Narrative director, Josh Sawyer. The man, the myth, the legend. Directed by Josh Sawyer. Bavaria, Holy Roman Empire, April 1518. An artist sleeps. An artist's mind. And the abbot said to me, Andreas. Oh, okay. So we're like in our dream here, I think. I don't want you distracting the sisters in the library. I need you to finish the commission by the end of April. Keep your conversations with Brother Piero to a minimum. Hmm. First decision. Let's see. So I don't want you distracting the sisters in the library. So I'm guessing this would make us sort of like a ladies' man. Uh, I need uh, you to finish the commission by end of April. Not necessarily, I guess. Maybe we're just reading books. I don't know. Um, I think the abbot probably wants us to just get the commission finished. Get it finished by the end of April. Isn't that much earlier than you were expecting? Asks Beatrice, who's up here on the, the balcony. Andreas. Yes. He had told me I had until the end of... Or until the Ides of May. Asshole. And he's not going to pay you any more, is he? He has no appreciation for the cost of your sweat, says Saint Grobane, Grobian. And Socrates, what's he doing here? The yield of labor should not be measured in coin, but in personal satisfaction and self-improvement. Personal satisfaction doesn't put much food on the table, though, does it? <laughs> Prester John, how did you reply to the abbot, Andreas? Got Prester John here, too? How did we reply? I guess we're Andreas. I said I would do my best to get it done by the end of April. I told him it would be done when it was done. Sometime before the Ides of May. I shrugged and kept on working. Let's give him the truth. I told him it would be done when it was done. Sometimes before the, sometime before the Ides of May. That's what I'd like to hear. What's he going to do? Find someone else to finish your work before May? Beatrice, it's true. Making enemies with the abbot may not be wise, but he needs your work. Socrates. And the doing of the work is its own virtue, regardless of what the abbot may think. Prester John. Despite the abbot's ire, you must endure. Soon you will have finished both the abbot's work and as well as your masterpiece. And then you will return to Nuremberg, where marriage and your new life as a master await you. Oh, was that a, a hyperlink there? Yes, marriage to someone he has never met. Hardly ideal. Well, says Socrates, the alternative is becoming a philosopher. Saint Grobian? Oh, Jesus. Then you, would, then you should definitely get married. Is she pretty, at least? Is this red? Oh. Um, that's what my brother said in his letter, but maybe he's just trying to lift my spirits. 
The small portrait they sent was lovely, but we artists can be flatterers. Oh, who knows? That's not why I'm doing it anyway. Yeah, so let's go with my brother. He said it. He said she was pretty. Pastor John, it is growing late. The wheel of time stops for no man. Andreas, I fear you must leave us. Andreas, ah, uh, true, your majesty. Pastor John, will you visit us again soon? Hopefully, but it's out of my control, your majesty. I don't know, your majesty. Well, I can't always dream of this place, your majesty. Let's be truthful, I can't always dream of this place. Of course. If you are not here tomorrow night, I pray you will some you will be someplace as pleasant. I hope so too. Grobian, please see Andreas safely home. Of course, your majesty. Pastor John, until next time, Andreas. Until next time, your majesty. Saint Grobian, pay no mind to the other fools, Andreas. <laughs> going on here? We got a fight going on. This guy's... What is he doing? <laughs> I never do. Oh, God. Ow! At least it would if they stop stepping on my feet. Watch where you're going. Grobian. <laughs> <laughs> They're fools, Andreas. No point in trying to teach them anything. I know old John wants you to endure the abbot's shit, but since I take you home, I get the last word. Don't let him run, you ragged boy. I won't. The abbot can't push me around. He's just trying to keep an order, uh, keep order in the abbey. I'm an outsider. It will be fine. I don't want to cause any trouble. Yeah, he's just trying to keep some order. No, I I'll be fine. I don't want to cause any trouble. That's no way to think about it. You need to stand up for yourself. Stop stepping on my foot and kicking my shin. Gah! <laughs> Would you please stop? Ow! This guy's an asshole. Push him off. Push him off the boat. I give up. Take me home, Grobian. <laughs> As you wish, Andreas. Oh, and then I pass out. Oh, it's this little shit hitting me in the foot. <laughs> good, mer good morning, Ursula. Ursula. Goom, Andure. Who's that? Ah, time to get up. This is very apt for what I... <laughs> this is exactly what I went through this morning. Except no, no child hitting me with a stick. I guess. And no dream of Presser John. A few more pages. Back to the Abbey. Alright, let's see what we've got going on here. Got a couple of tabs. What is this button? A few more pages. Uh, prime Hour 6. Another day, another few pages for the Abbot, and hopefully a few for myself. I need to get across town and head up to the Abbey so I can start work on the scriptorium. This is our journal, okay. What is this? Andre Andreas uh, Mahler? 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 In uh, Nuremberg, 1518. Got a little uh, crest there. Are we nobility? No information? Okay. Got a map. Oh, wow. Okay. We're in outer... Jasting? Hasting? It's not hasting. Yasting? I don't know how to pronounce it. Tassing Roman ruins. We got a mill. Is this where we're at? Gertner Farm. Johann Bauer Farm. Franz Bauer and Widow uh, Kim Kimpirin? Kimpirin. Charcoal Burner. To the Abbey. Shrine of St. Satya. There's a waterfall over here. We got an old salt mine. A lot of places to go. And we got the Abbey up here. Oh, wow. It's like an actual blueprint. That's kind of cool. I like that. It's a really cool map. A crypt. And then... Is it Tassing? Is that where we're at? Tassing, maybe. 
We got Werner, Alban Bakery, Blacksmith, Town Commons, Farm South, Farms West, uh, Zimmerman House, Midwife, Drucker House, Our Lady of the Labyrinth. We got our church here, the Meadow of Forest, and Eastern Farms, a mill, and a whole bunch of stuff. Neat. All right, people. We've got Brother Pierre, or Piero of Verona, artist of Kirsaw, artist of Kirsaw Abbey, known for his kindness and helpful nature. This, this text is kind of difficult to read. <laughs> Brother Piero is also respected as a master painter, specializing in works of extraordinary color. Cool. Maybe, is he our mentor or something? And then we got a glossary here. Nuremberg. Free Imperial City of the Holy Roman Empire. Major trade center and city of arts, including printing. Yeah, Nuremberg was a big city. I guess it's still a big city, but... Okay. What else we got here? What is this? Okay, this is our menu. Work hours. This is our map. Probably, yeah. And this button. What is this? Oh, we're just seeing the book here. You can zoom in on it and stuff. Okay. Interesting. All right, what do we got here? I really should clean this up. Oh, it's just, just, we're observing kind of thing. The Picatrix, Key of Solomon, the Heptameron, Prior, uh, Wait, I wasn't done. Prior Fernic. Ferenc? Ferenc? Keeps giving me all these books to read. Who's that? Is he in our glossary now? People. Prior Ferenc of, of Peace. Peace? Uh, originally from Hungary, Ferenc is the prior of uh, Kirsau Abbey and is responsible for running the scriptorium, known for his interest in, in es esoteric books. I feel like this game is going to test my vocabulary. <laughs> Obsidian tends to do that often to me. Alright, Gertner House. Alright, hello Ursula. Andrew. Okay, up to the room here. Guess we'll walk down this way. Hello, Clara. Clara. Good morning, Andreas. Did you sleep well? Quite well, actually. Thank you. Ordinary, as far as sleeping goes. Not well, but there's nothing to be done about it now. Uh, quite well, actually. Thank you. Oh, I'm so glad to hear it. Anyway, I know you'll be off to the Abbey, so I packed you some food. Oh, thank you. I like how the, uh... The density of the ink changes. That's kind of cool. Like, like you actually have a writer. Almonds, cheese, and some of the rye you like from old albums. Otto wanted me to ask you to join him for dinner at the Abbey. Otto, huh? Eva. Or Eva? Otto stopped by. Yes, around dawn. What's this? A letter? This is my food? Here you are, Andreas. That's too kind of you, Clara. Many thanks. Yeah, let's be nice. Master Andreas, if it wouldn't be so much trouble, could I... I mean, could we... Yes? Would it be too much trouble if you paid next month's rent today? And if we raised it by two groschen? Groschen. I hate to ask, but we're behind on our taxes to the Abbey. Two months behind. Peter's losing his hair over it. Even more than usual, I mean. Um, of course. It's no problem at all. Besides, we wouldn't want Peter to lose any more of his precious hair. Uh, uh I suppose that's not out of the question. Yes, I think I can manage that. I can't promise anything. I'll see what I can do. Well, I... Wait. Were these taxes unexpected? <laughs> I'm not sure how. What is this? 
I'm not sure how. Uh, I can't promise anything. I'll see what I can do. Of course, I understand. I hate to even ask it of you. Our taxes get harder to pay every year, Peter. Or Peter works hard, but it's just never it just never seems to be like it it never seems like it's enough. Saint Luke bless you for helping us out. Speaking of Saint Luke, how's your masterpiece coming along? It's been two months now, hasn't it? Slowly, I'm afraid. Most of my days are spent doing work for the Abbey. It's only during the divine office that Prior Ference allows me to work on my task for my masterpiece. A reasonable restriction, but uh, slow going. The city could, or the city council doesn't require it to become a master. I'm making it most of the show clients, and for my own sake. And yes, when I do finish, I will go back to Nuremberg, where I will marry and open a workshop of my own. From Nuremberg to a university, and now traveling the world as an artist. What a life you have, you have ahead of you, Master Andreas. Yes, I suppose it does feel like I'm starting a new chapter in my life after... A few missteps, some wandering, a little too much fun. Hmm, you're a party boy, a wanderer, or did get some trouble? I think Andreas here got in a little bit of trouble. A few missteps. It must be rather frightening, starting all over again. I owe it to my family to make something of my life. It is, but I know that I know now that it's what I want to do. Yeah, we already talked about our brother. I think our, our family means a bit to us. We're we're close with our family. I owe it to my family. This will be remembered. They helped me even after I dropped out of the university. I can't let them down. I'm sure you make I'm sure you make your family proud, Andreas. Anyway, I don't know anything about art, but I've seen your sketch. I've seen you sketching such beautiful things in your little book. It has like little corrections. You can see the smudge and stuff. That's kind of cool. Your masterpiece must be wonderful. It is. It is my finest work. It's getting there. Well, it's hard to say until it's done. It's getting there. Hard work get you all the way. That's what my father used to say. God rest his soul. Now, I have to get back to my work. Own work. I think... I think anytime uh, divinity is mentioned, it's going to be written in red. It's probably how that works. Pretty sure that is how it used to work. Now, I have to get back to my own work. Have a good day at the Abbey, Andreas, and we'll see you after uh, Vespers for supper. Not tonight, but thank you. Klaus Drucker. Klaus. Klaus Drucker invited me over for supper. Of course. Please say hello, hello to the Druckers for us. Druckers. Of course. Until later, Clara. Alright. Eva, do you want to talk? Hello, Andreas. Nope. Okay. To Gertner Farm. We also got some updates here. Let's go check, take a look. Got quite a few. Oh, wrong, wrong, wrong thing. This one. And people. Okay, ooh, wow, we got a lot of updates here. So we got Clara, uh, Gertnerin, Gertnerin, second wife of Peter Gertner, mother of Ursula, known for her kid, her kindness, her kidneys, I keep saying, whenever I see this, where I see kindness in here, uh, her kindness and her concern for her husband's health. Okay, we got Klaus Drucker. Klaus Drucker is the Tassingtown printer and widower to his wife, Mary. Although Tassing is an unusual place for a printing press, he does brisk trade with pilgrims and other travelers on the Imperial Road. His first son, uh, Bertholdt, Bertholdt, died to illness. He's raising his only daughter, uh, Magdalene, alone. Okay. So we have a printing press here. What year did they say it was? Is 515? So the printing press has been out for what? Not very long. It's uh, actually shameful. I can't remember the actual date for the printing press. <laughs> but yeah, it hasn't been very long since the printing press has been out. Uh, we got... Uh, we're going to call her Eva or Eva. 
Uh, Eva Gert, uh, Gertner, Gertnerin, Gertnerin, daughter of Peter Gertner, and his wife, and his, uh, and his late wife, Christine. Okay, so his wife died and he remarried Clara, I see. Uh, Eva was largely raised by her brother and father. Married to Otto Zimmerman, the town carpenter, she has one son, Oates. All right. Are her and Otto not getting along? Because they didn't... She seems surprised that he came by the house. We've already talked about Pryor. We've got Otto Zimmerman. Town carpenter and son of late old Otto. Married to Eva and father to Oates. Oates. Sorry about my alarm if you heard that. Um, married to Eva and father to Oates. Known for his dislike of the Abbey. Especially Father Gurneau. And then Peter Gertner. Husband of Clara, father of Big Jorg, Eva, and Ursula, known for his temper and his dislike of the Abbey. And Linhart Mueller, 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 or Mueller, Mueller. Uh, brother Piero. Oh, we already talked about him. Okay, so we've got all them known. We've got some glossary stuff. We are probably gonna read everything. I like to be super thorough, or as thorough as I can be, in these games. And uh, this is probably really important stuff for, for this kind of game. Okay, so we got a glossary here. We got divine office. The prayer times observed by all Christian monastic orders. Monks and nuns pray together seven times a day and once at night, as dictated by the rule of St. Benedict. Okay. I don't think we're not uh, a monk, so we're, we're fine. St. Luke. Christian evangelist and patron saint of artists and physicians, often represented by a winged bull. And then Vespers, monastic hour of dusk, or monastic hour at dusk, one of the major prayer hours. It is followed by supper. Okay. So Vespers is basically closing time. Uh, Gertner Farm. Okay, is this Peter? Yeah. Hey, Peter. Andreas. Oh, okay. Working hard. Who are you? Nobody. Oh. Big Jorg. Morning, Andreas. Morning, Big Jorg. How's it going? You working today? Just taking a rest for a bit. Uh, Dad's still in the fields. He hit a big rock with the plow, and it took me... Lord knows how long to pull it out. You off today, Abby? Every day but Sunday. Right. Thank God for Sundays. Yeah, that's really cool. I love the... <laughs> how it fills in the dialogue here. So it does the black ink first, and then they leave a space to go back in and, and fill in the red ink. It smells like a storm's coming, no? Huh. Just smells like fresh alpine air to me. Uh, you've been traveling too much. Where was it you spent your wander, your wander, wanderion, wandiar? <laughs> I don't know. Before you came to Tassing. Ooh, background. Pick a background that will affect your character's choices going forward. Press and hold to confirm your choice. Okay. So where? So we we were born. I'm guessing we. Were, I don't know if we were born in Nuremberg, but we were definitely raised in Nuremberg. We went to the university in Nuremberg. And then it seems we dropped out, and we went wandering. So where do we go wandering? We could go to Basel. Andreas knows some Italian and French, and can reference cultural touchstones from Basel and nearby Bern, Zurich, and Freiburg. Freiburg. Go to Flanders. Andreas knows some Dutch and French, and can... Uh, reference cultural touchstones from Antwerp, Bruges, and Brent. Or Italy. Andreas knows Italian and Little Greek, and can reference cultural touchstones from Florence, Venice, and Milan. Ooh, okay. Trying to think of the times. Hmm. So from Nuremberg... I actually don't know where Basel is. I guess it's in France. Oh. Uh, Bern. I know where Bern is. That's, uh, that's Switzerland, I think. 
I think Bern's in Switzerland. I don't know. My geography's a little rusty, I guess. Um, I'm gonna go to Flanders. Let's go to Flanders. We know Dutch and French. Antwerp, Bruges, and Ghent. All the great art cities of Flanders. Where's that? North and west. Down by the sea. There's your problem. The sea air has confused your sense of smell. Spend enough time in these mountains and you'll be able to smell a storm coming. <laughs> How long will that take? Mm, 10, 15 years. I don't think I have that long, Big Jork. What do you spend all that time in Flanders doing anyway? Other than art, I mean. Hedonist. Andreas seeks out pleasure wherever he goes. He's extremely social and quite experienced in all the enjoyable vices of the world. Uh, pick the background that will affect your character's choices going forward. Okay. Could be a craftsman. Andreas lives to work and dedicates all of his time to his art. A bookworm. Andreas spend, spends all of his non-working free time finding and reading as many books as he possibly can. Rapscallion. Andreas has a penchant for getting involved in petty schemes, pranks, and minor crimes, and fistfights. Or businessmen. Andreas devotes much of his time to self-promotion, optimizing business expenses, and making investments, and balancing his books. Let's go business. Seems like a good thing for Flanders. Learning how to run a business. The art will come with time, but how to manage finances, deal with clients. How to secure my place in the world when I become a master. That's going to that's going to come from coin. Yeah, you're a smart man, Andreas. Wish I could say anyone in my family knew anything about business. Most years, we barely have enough to get by. The peasants lot, I suppose. Anyway, I have to get going. Jarg! Let's go! Uh, Dad's already acting like I'm taking too long, even though I did all the work to get that rock out. Uh, see you later, Andreas. Until later. Hey, right, so we're, uh... Living off the hospitality of the peasants here. I like that. Well, I, I guess... <laughs> I don't know if I should say I like doing that, but... It, it's, it's a... It's a time when hospitality matters, I guess, which is a, a nice thing to remember. Ill Peter. Uh, God bless ya. Andreas. Ah, uh, oh, yes, Andreas. This weather's been... God-awful. This town's gone to shit since my days. I don't think the town folk can do much about the weather. Were things very different when you were young? Yeah, were they different? As different as beer and piss. No, so not very different. <laughs> the old abbot didn't bother us much about our customs. He didn't mind if we left a little offering to uh, Perchta to keep the skies clear, the weather fair. Matthias knew that uh, Christ was in our heart, even if the white lady's name was on our lips. Ah, so we got a little bit of paganistic rituals going on here. Hmm. On the map, this didn't seem too far away from Italy. So, I'm surprised that uh, pagan rituals were still going on here. I don't know, maybe this is more towards, like, uh, Bohemia and stuff. The church banned all observance of pagan gods, Ill Peter. What sort of old customs? I thought St. Mortis protected Tassing. You think that spirits have been fouling the weather since no one's following their customs anymore? Let's go with that one. Heh. <laughs> Sharper than you look, eh? The saints weren't the first to watch over Tassing. My father knew that. Old Renig. Kimper knew that. That bastard abbot may not like it, but some of us keep the traditions alive. Like the old widow, Otilla, or Otilia, or Otilia, rather. I won't mention that at the Abbey. What do these traditions entail? When you get up in the night to take a piss, go around the right side of the house and never go back the same way. Ah, I gotta remember that. 
That way the witches don't steal your soul. Oh, how interesting. <laughs> I should go. Mm. All right. God bless you. Thank you, Peter. Oh, can't go that way. All right. So there's Peter and Ill Peter. Do we get new things in our... Yeah. Okay. So we got Big Jorg. The son of Peter Gartner. Gertner. And his late wife, Christine. Called Big because he is the biggest man in town. Married to Veronica. Oh, you have a wife too. Ill Peter. Uh, the elderly father of Peter Gertner, Ill Peter, is perpetually on death's door, but continues to work the field in spite of it. He is the oldest man in town. Interesting. In the glossary, we have uh, uh, Wanderjaf, Wanderjar. I don't know how to say that. Uh, wandering years, during which a journeyman artist or a craftsman travels for the wide, or far and wide, to improve their skills. Cool. And we also got Saint, uh, who's this? Saint Moritz. Saint Moritz is the patron saint of Tassing. Legend states he has the he was the Egyptian-born commoner of a Roman Roman legion who converted to Christianity, and they were all martyred for their faith. His hand is a relic in Kirsa Shrine. All right, we got uh, Ranning. Ranning Kemper, the late husband of Otilia, and uh, Perchta, pagan goddess of the Alps, associated with animals and spinning wool, she is still invoked by some Christians in Austria, Switzerland, Bavaria, and Swabia. Okay, so based off the map, I'm guessing we're, we're either in Austria I guess we could be in Bavaria. I don't think we're in Switzerland. It looked like we were too far east. Okay. So we got all these. Uh, any, any, any others? No. Okay, so we're good there. And... What is this? Oh, this is our background. Andreas knows some Dutch and French and can reference cultural touchstones from Antwerp, Bruges, and Ghent. Andreas devotes much of his time to self-promotion, self optimizing business expenses, Making investments and balancing his books. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Town Commons. Alright. Good morning, Andres. Hello, Andreas. Andreas Schmidt Smithy. It is so much smaller than the one he uses at the he uses at the Abbey. Interesting. He has a, two Smithies. Got a river going past here. Love the art. This is so cool. That's the Gertner farm. What's going on up here? Okay, he's pointing harshly at this guy over here. Martin? What? Okay. Guess we gotta go down this way. Hetty. Uh-oh. Martin, please! Can you... Can you give me a hand here? What do you want? I'm keeping an eye on them. That looks a lot like standing there and doing nothing, says Veronica. Veronica, is that that's uh that's Big Jorg's wife, right? I believe so. Hetty. Martin, for Christ's sake, help your cousin. Okay, and their cousins. Ah, morning, Andreas. Excuse us. One of the fence rails fell, and the sheep started started hopping it. Is there something I can do to help? No, excuse me. I'll try to stay out of your way. Martin, idiot. You, you're Martin, idiot. You going to help them? Should I offer to help? What is this? I wanted to see what this bubble thing is. Oh. So we can get some, like, um, advice. So this is, who is this? This is Socrates. Perhaps helping the others also helps us. It allows us to feel useful and take satisfaction in our work. That idiot Martin should be helping them. Yell at him. Give him a good scare. 
Um, I think we're going to go with the Socrates route. And then again, I don't know anything about sheep, and I'd probably just get in their way. Hmm. I'll try to stay out of your way. No, excuse me. Thanks. It'll probably take an hour or two to track them all down at this rate. That blood sacrament. Damn it, Veronico. What did I say about blasphemy? Sorry, Mom. Oh, look. There's something going up on the... There's something going on up at the... Uh, stay in hours, please. Stay. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that's what we saw earlier. What's going on here? Who's that on the horse? Looks rich. Yeah, I was just thinking that. I don't know, Martin. But Lucky is giving it. Lucky is giving him an an earful. So that guy's name is Lucky. Christ, I haven't seen Lucky that worked up since Peter and Clara's wedding, when Johan pulled his pants down. Knocked two of my man's teeth out. You don't want to feel the strength behind a stone man's, a stone mason's anger. Do you think he's a noble? He looks really rich. God damn it, Martin, stay out of trouble for once. What, Aunt Hetty? Behave yourself. Don't we have enough to deal with right now? Andreas, if you wouldn't mind moving your skinny little body up the road, we need to get these sheep under control. I don't talk about my body like that. Please. Of course. See you later. Don't work too hard, Martin. Good luck. I hope you're all and your cousin, alright? Eat shit, Andreas. What a little... I hate that guy. <laughs> I hate him already. Alright, still can't talk to them. Veronica. Hello, Andreas. Hey, Andreas. Okay. So something's going on there with the stonemason and some potentially rich people. Alright. Church and Druckers. Okay. So it looks like that's locked. We got Klaus here. Hey, Klaus. Um. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Morning, Andreas. How's it going? That's uh, those are uh, printing blocks, right? Or type, movable type. And then it shows them being printed. It look like that's kind of cool. Morning, Klaus. No, that the Abbey. Another few hours to work on my masterpiece. Good to hear. And yeah, you can see how much faster it is. That's really kind of neat. Good to hear. You still coming by for supper tonight? Mary and Bert would love to see you. You really need to see those... Or you really need to see these new woodcuts. I have for an Italian edition of Till the... Uh, Yulin Spiegel. Yeah, woodcuts. So I guess maybe... I don't know. We'll see. I didn't realize Father Thomas let you print books in Italian. Yeah, so he's the printer. That's what we found out when we read his biography, right? Yeah. Come on, Andreas. He's not that strict. I know he's just trying to protect people from... Heresy? Witch mania? Adventure stories of questionable mor moral repute? Your sloppy, tep your sloppy typesetting? Yeah, so this is... After the Protestant Reformation. The church is cracking down on uh, heresy and all that stuff. Trying to keep control. Um, so let's see what, uh, what we should say. Witch mania. Oh god, don't say that, Andreas. We're less than a day's ride from Innsbruck. Okay, that tells me where we're at. Innsbruck. I kind of know where Innsbruck is. I actually don't. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure that this is where most of my knowledge of Europe, European geography comes from. I'm pretty sure that is a... town or city in Austria. Maybe? Question mark? And most of my knowledge comes from playing games like <laughs> Medieval Total War and Crusader Kings. <laughs> so, you know. 
No need to get no need to get people around here all worked up about witches again. Besides, don't talk about witches around Father Thomas. Just a bad idea. Good to know. So, supper tonight after Vespers. Vespers is the dusk prayer. Look at that. Of course. Thank you. Great. I'll tell Mary and Bert you're you're coming. See you then. See you later. Klaus is good people. He's good people. People just offering you to come to the supper. What a great town. Okay, so we got uh, Ber Bertolt Drucker. So this is the Bert that he was talking about. Son of Klaus and Marie, Marie Drucker. Okay. We've got Indris over here. Indris Schmidt. The Tassingtown blacksmith. Indris works near the town center most days. Yeah, Hedy. He's over here. Hedwig Hedy uh, Bowerin? Bow Bowerin? I don't know. Wife of John Bower. Mother of Veronica and Hans. Town folk. Town folk like Hedy. Or the town folk like Hedy. But she is known for being loud and brash and for drinking too much. Which makes her louder and even more brash. Of course. We got Johan. Johannes Brower, or Bauer, brother of Franz Bauer, husband of Hetty, father of Veronica, and Hans. Johan is friends with most of his families in town, but is determined to expand his farm. Okay. We got uh, Lorenz. We actually haven't met this guy yet. He's the Baron of... I can't really see that. Uh, Roth... 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 Rothgau? 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 Or something. <laughs> From near Worms. Uh, pa patron of uh, Kirsau Abbey. Lover of books and art. Okay. Maybe we rec maybe we recognized him, but we didn't tell anybody. And then Linhart Lucky St uh, Stenau. Stenau. Stonemason of Tassing. Husband of Agnes. Father of Brigitte. Known for his great strength. And then we got Mary. Mary Drunk Drunkerin. So I'm guessing adding the the YN at the end is like what you do for, for married women. Block cutter and typecaster, wife of Klaus, mother of Bernholt. And then Martin Bauer, son of Franz and Kat Bauer, husband of Brig of Brigitta, father of Man, he looks really young to have a family. <laughs> father of of Kraft. Known for his a uh, churlish youth fight from Tassing and his uh, repentant return. Oh, okay. Prodigal son kind of guy. And then uh, Nicholas Hubbard, Hubbard? A Swabian servant of Lorenz no uh, Roth, 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 Roth that guy. Fucking hell. <laughs> These names. Uh, that's so bad. And he's a Swabian service. So maybe we're in Swabia. Swabia is southern. That's... So Bavaria is... I'm sorry if I get this wrong. Bavaria is southeast Germany. And Swabia is southwest Germany. Right? So maybe we're in Swabia? I don't know. Where are we? Where's the map? Where's the world map? Uh, and, okay, and there's Veronica. Daughter of Johann and Hedy. Bauer, sister of Hans, married to Big Jork, close friends with Brigitte uh, Bauern, mother to twins Apollo and Artemis. Good names. Kind of, uh, you know, not very Christian names, but you know, I won't tell anybody. Okay, we got uh, Teal, Till Yuna Spiegel, the titular character of a popular 15th century book. Till is a prankster, continually exposing the vices and the hypocrisy of others. He is also quite skilled at tricking people into smelling, touching, or eating his, ex his excrement. Okay. And Innsbruck. Innsbruck. Cap capital of Austria. I was right. It's Austria. So we're in Austria. Capital of the Austrian country of Tyrol. Or Tyrol. And major stops in the Imperial Road connecting Italy and Bavaria. It is the closest major city to Kirsau, Abbey, and Tassing. 
Kirsar Abbey in Tassing. Notably, notably, it was also the site of witch trials in 1485. That is noted. Okay. I think it's all in the glossary. Good. Alright, let's keep moving. Hello, Thomas. God bless, Master Maller. I hope your week is going well. Thank you, Father. It's going quite well. I'm just on my way up the hill to get to work. Thank you, Father, but I'm running late today, Abby. Yeah, I'm, thank you, Father. It's going quite well. Good, good. Andreas, I don't recall seeing you at Sunday morning Mass. You understand how important it is for your salvation that you receive Holy Communion, don't you? I... Yes. I apologize, Father Thomas. I promise I'll make it this Sunday. I do, but I've been working on sketches late at night and, uh... Just stayed up to... Just, I just stayed up too late on Saturday. I don't want to get into an argument with him about this. Would going to church on Sunday be such a burden? If not for his sake, consider it for your own. A man has many duties. Father Thomas should appreciate how hard you work to help the Abbey. This asshole can't make you go to Mass. To hell with him. <laughs> Let's go with Beatrice here. Mass can be an uplifting experience, remember? Yeah, we don't want to get burned on the stake. Right, there's no need to argue. I should make a better effort to get to Sunday Mass. Yeah. I apologize, Father. You don't have to make a promise to me. But our salvation is contingent on the... Oh, hello. Oh my, what a blessed day to receive such an illustrious visitor. Master Mahler, this is Lorene, Lorenz Baron of Roth, Rothwood. I'm just going to call it Rothwood. A great lord from the countryside near Worms. Good to see you, Father Thomas. It is nice to be remembered fondly. I... I only wish all of your neighbors were as welcoming. Well, yes. What brings you back to our little town? My wife and I were returning. This looks like a mistake here. Ha! My wife and I were returning from a trip to Venice. We spent a few days in Innsbruck and it was terribly dull. I mean, it has a certain charm common to these alpine cities, but the place was crawling with nobles for the Emperor's diet. diet. The Emperor? Was he there? Did you see him? Oh, briefly, but he was sitting for a he was sitting for a portrait at the time. Uh, quite lovely. I didn't want to bother him or the printer or the painter. Who was the artist, my lord? What was the diet assembled? Well, why was the diet assembled, my lord? Say nothing. Who was the artist, my lord? I'm sure you know him. An older man from Nuremberg with enough of a reputation to paint the emperor. Aha. Uh -huh. My business, my business sense kicks in here. You must mean uh, Albert Dürer. Really? I know this name. Isn't he like a famous? Uh, didn't he make a lot of like really famous metal prints or wood prints or something? As a fellow Nuremberg and artist, I admire his business ac acumen as much as his talent. Well, two artists from Nuremberg in a week. What are the odds? Anyway, my wife wanted to stay, or to stay a bit longer in Innsbruck, and I decided to ride ahead to make a visit to Kirsau. I heard Father Matthias died shortly after my last visit, of course. A great loss for the Abbey and for us all. Indeed. By good fortune, I recently came across a copy of the Hysteria, or Historia... Tassia? Tassia? He was reading during my last visit. Father Matthias was hoping to find a second copy to co co corroborate the contents of the first. It contains some fascinating details about the history of this place. I'm afraid they might even cause a bit of a scandal. <laughs> ah, yes. Hmm. But I must be off. There will be time enough to discuss Tassing's past later. I commissioned a manuscript from the Abbey, though. Or through Father Gurneau, and I have come to check on its progress. Oh, my lord, if you've come to see your manuscript, you should speak with the young Master Mahler here. 
Not quite a true master yet, but I still have to marry and be approved by our city council. Andreas is a journeyman artist from Nuremberg. For the next few months, he's also helping in the Abbey's scriptorium. A Nuremberger artist working in an Abbey's scriptorium in 1518? Huh. We should talk, Andreas. I must know your I must know the story. Of course, my lord. It would be an honor. Well, I'm already late to the Abbey, but I suppose it's all right. Surely my lord would find a little would find little entertainment or companionship in me. Ah, oh, he's our lord, of course. It would be my honor. Wonderful. It's so rare to find someone in the countryside who knows anything about art. Thank you for thank you for the introduction, Father Thomas. Come to supper at the Abbey tonight. I'm inviting you to I'm inviting you to the abbot's table. It is did the abbot invite me? Oh, don't worry about it, Father. Just show up after Vespers. What is he going to do? Refuse us? Ah. Uh, excellent. We'll see you then. The Klaus. I'm dismounting. <laughs> Run ahead of us and take the horses to the Abbey's guest house. I'd like to take my time talking with Master Marla. I'll meet you there. At once, my lord. Oh, we just we got invited to two dinners. Uh oh. So then, a journeyman from Nuremberg. Forgive me for saying so, but you seem a little old to not yet be a master. Are you unmarried? No, I'm not married. But in truth, I came to my vocation later and later than my father and brothers. I was in university for for a number of years at uh, Erfurt. Effort. Wonderful. The same university as Martin Luther. Have you read his works? Tremendous mind. He says things about the church that should have been said years ago. Might get him into trouble, but he's a brave, brilliant man. Okay, so Martin Luther's still alive. I really need to freshen up on my <laughs> my history at the time here. I, I swear I swear I studied history, guys. To be fair. My area of expertise was uh, the Hellenistic Age, so, you know, excuses, excuses. Wait, you may have, you may have even met him, did you? You must tell me. Ah, uh, no, he was a few years ahead of me. Still, his, his, his ideas do seem fascinating. His ideas don't hold much interest to me, I'm afraid. His ideas are, do seem fascinating. I agree, wholeheartedly. I simply must meet him if I get the chance. I wonder if the good brother of the Abbey have heard of him. Good brothers of the Abbey have heard of him. Perhaps I have even read his list of 95 theses against the church. Father Matthias was not above having a living debate, or a lively debate. I hope Father Gernot does not disappoint in that regard. But enough about Luther, for now. Tell me about your university studies. Ah, forgive me, Baron. But did you attend university? You seem very well educated. Yeah, you seem very well educated. <laughs> no. My family is merely wealthy enough for, to house... No, my family is merely wealthy enough to have provided me with all of the books and tutors a child could dream of. Sounds nice. I love all knowledge, from Aristotle to Cicero to... I don't know this one. Uh, Ficino? F Ficino? And Erasmus. And everyone in between, and yet to come. I may have misjudged the Baron. It seems he is as well read as, as any university student. In truth, I am simply happy to speak with another well-educated man. Now then, did you earn your edu your doctorate? No. In truth, I wait. Yeah. Okay. I. No, I didn't. Only a master's degree. Only a master's degree. Jeez, man. I started working toward a doctorate, but didn't finish. Oh, that's a shame. Well, what was your area of study? Ooh, background. Theology, imperial law, or medicine? Andreas has a strong understanding of Catholic theology, biblical knowledge, canon law, heresies, and similar subjects. Imperial law. Andreas knows the basics of the fractured system of laws that govern the various states of the Holy Roman Empire. Or medicine. Andreas is familiar with the basics of human biology, medicine, and illness. I'm going to go Imperial Law. Law. I suppose I thought I could practice in Nuremberg. 
I never had much interest in the subject, honestly. A bit dull for my tastes. Besides, the Empire is such a mess of jurisdictions. Bavaria law, Rhenish law, Franconian law. Nonsense. I'd rather use my money to pay someone who'd study the nonsense that learn than learn it myself. Well, that's what I was hoping for. <laughs> Hello. Otilia. You! If I had any faith, I would have prayed... Er... Prayed you'd never show your face here again. Curse you, Lorenz Roth Roth Rothwood. Uh, perched as dogs tearing you to pieces would be too kind of, too kind of fate. Uh, <sighs> these rustic communities display a shocking lack of hospitality, don't you think? What was that about? Who knows? By the time I finish guessing, the old crone will probably be dead. Dot dot dot. <laughs> yeah, you definitely did something. Well, what of your early time at, in university? Every student must study the trivium, trivium in uh, quadrivium, yes. Do you have a favorite subject? Ooh, more background checks. Latinist. Andreas has a strong command of Latin, grammar, and vocabulary. He can also easily recall sent, or sentin, sententi, sententia, antiquia, something, quoted words of wisdom from the Roman Republic and Empire. That sounds cool. Magician. Andreas instinctively thinks, uh, thinks through the implications of information as he receives it, is adept at spatial ana analysis, and can easily perform contemplate or complicated calculations in his head. Orator. Andreas excelled at the rhetoric in university, he is a skilled teacher, persuader, and public speaker. A cultist. Andreas knows a soul endangering amount of the a soul endangering amount of theoretical and practical knowledge on alchemy, astrology, theurgy, necromancy, and various magical rites and ceremonies. That's kinda cool. Heavens and Earth. Andreas knows a great deal about the constellations, heavenly bodies, and their movement. He is also familiar with various plants and animals from study and personal experience. That sounds really cool too, scientist. I kinda like Orator though. Let's go with Orator. They are to persuasion, naturally. Rhetoric. Ah, I assume you studied the Greeks and Romans both. Yes, Aristotle and Cicero, of course. But also Christian thinkers like Augustine and Thomas Aqu Aqu Aquinas. True, we have less use for public discourse than senators did in the Roman Republic. Exactly. The doctors of the church weren't trying to persuade politicians, but to move the mind toward Christian truth. Still... The principles remain the same. Invent your argument, then arrange style and internalize them before delivering them to your audience. Splendid, though I suppose an artist has little use for rhetoric, especially in a place such as this. Not true. Rhetoric is also an art, and like other art, and like other forms of art, it should be created for the audience and its purpose. It can be practiced as easily in the streets of a rural town as in the Curia of Rome. Well put. In your other studies, was there anything else you excelled at? Ooh, more. Our second thing. Ooh, um... I'm between heaven and earth and Latinist. I think Latinist fits sort of, you know, if we were, we were studying the... Uh, if you're studying Cicero and, um... Aristotle. Latin would probably be useful. So, Latinist. I focused on Latin. It's useful in so many ways, but especially for understanding manuscripts. Wonderful! A beautiful language used in the greatest empire of the ancient world. Tell me, what is your favorite sent uh, sent sententia? Everyone enjoys the smell of their own farts. <laughs> Remember to tell the tale of another's kindness many times, but whatever kind deed you do for others, keep quiet. I like that one. Yes, Cato the Younger, an unflinching defender of the Roman Republic. But what did his principal get him? Death at the hands of Caesar. Yeah, well, that happened to a lot of people. Not quite true. He died by his own hands. Ah, yes, he... Yes, that's true. And when Caesar... I mean, it was because of Caesar's actions, but, you know, still. Hmm. Yeah, a little sip of coffee there. And when Caesar learned of it, he said, Cato, I resent you for your death, for you denied me the chance to spare you. 
a bitter end, but not without a measure of sweetness. Ah, there's the Abbey. I have good memories of this place, and of Father Matthias. I was sad to hear of his passing. How did you come to know him? How did you come to know of Kearsaw at all? Uh, my family have been patrons of Kearsaw for, oh, I don't know, how many generations. Some years ago, I heard that Kearsaw still had a wonderful library and, art and artisans. Professional artists have taken over most manuscript production, so I was shocked to find an active scriptorium here. Well, there's not much left of it these days. Two old men, a young scribe, and me. This is as good a place as any to create art. The artists that remain here are quite talented, if a bit old-fashioned. Well, Kearsaw is more than a bit old-fashioned. Some of my friends think I'm mad for commissioning a manuscript from an abbey in this day and age. But, well, my family has or have been patrons of Kearsaw for generations. It seems wrong to stop now while there's still talent here. I commissioned a manuscript through Father Journeau a year ago. I thought I would stop by and check on the progress. Wait, are you the artist working on it? It's a prayer book with 20 illustrations. I know the work, but no. I do I do know the artist well, the venerable Brother Piero. How venerable? He still has his wits and his skills, if that's what concerns you. Brother Piero has an incredible talent with color. Then I very much look forward to seeing it. All right. Hello. McClaus. Tend to the horses and the baggage. I'm heading up to the abbey. Yes, my lord. I get a personal escort here. That's nice. Well, let's not keep the abbot waiting any longer. There are the nuns. Nuns. <laughs> Quite unusual for Benedictine for a Benedictine house to have monks and nuns, even if they are separated. The church closed most of them centuries ago. But then Kirsau is a place out of time in more ways than one. Do you know Mother Cecilia? She seemed to recognize you. Yeah, do you know her? We were acquainted, yes. Let's leave it at that. Ah, you must be Father Gurneau. I'm Lorenz, Baron of... Yes. The Baron of Rath... Rathal... <laughs> so wonderful to have you here, again. We actually did meet on your last visit. Ah, if you say so. I'm not good with, mem with remembering faces. Please forgive me, my lord. But I wasn't expecting you for another few, few days. Yes, I know. But I wrote ahead. I just couldn't wait to see my manuscript. I'm sure it's no trouble. We... I... Yes. I mean, no. It's no trouble. Do you want to see it now? Oh, in a moment. I could do with a bit of refreshment, though. May I grab something from the kitchen? Dot, dot, dot. Yes, yes. Certainly, my lord. I will meet you there. See ya. Uh-oh. Andreas, I don't know what you were doing with the Baron, but I need you in the scriptorium now. Of course, Father. I'm eager to get to work. Why are you taking this out on me? He's not my problem. Is this a bad time to ask for an advance on my payment for the Book of Hours? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> okay, not a very pleasant fellow. Hmm. I should ask again when he's in a better mood. Maybe I could just convince Brother M uh, M Matthew to pay me earlier. Okay. Awesome. So we got a bunch of stuff to, to read in the glossary and the people I, I'm betting. But it is time for us to wrap up this episode. This first episode, I really like this game so far. It's really cool. I love the, the background choices, the art style, the font, the writing. All of it's phenomenal so far. The sounds, all these animal sounds. <laughs> Great. Animal sounds are fantastic. Um, but no, I'm really, really enjoying this so far. And I hope you guys are liking it as well. Um let me know what, what sort of backgrounds you picked if, you, if you've gotten this far, which isn't very far. But let me know what kind, of, uh, what kind of Andreas you guys are going with. I'm going with more of like a, more of like a practical sort of law, law man kind of, kind of guy. Um, wants to make good business, good money, you know, all that kind of stuff. 
but yeah, we'll see where we're going in the next episode as we explore the Abbey. I'm excited. But until then, I hope all of you have a very wonderful day. And I'll catch you later.